All right, let's say we're live again. Let's do our usual quick audio test and keep all of our all of our many fingers crossed that this does not have the same weird audio issues that the Tomb Raider did. All right, so far sounds good. That's what I like. Welcome, everybody. It's been gosh, like a whole week for the the people who got like the platinum pre-order. Uh, I got the the dinky run of the mill pre-order, so this came out Friday when I was away at Ren Fair. Um, so we're going further back in time for this one, uh, which should be a lot of fun. But we're going to try out this one and see how it plays. Everything I've been told is that this is like an Assassin's Creed game in name only. Because uh, I didn't play Origins, which was already a pretty heavy departure. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I, I expect good things. I've heard a lot of good things. So let's hope. Plus we get sea shanties. So, you know. What could possibly go wrong? I wonder if there are dogs and they'll let me pet them. <laughs> so this is a different Odyssey from the Hyundai ATV. <laughs> hey, B. <laughs> Assassin's Creed just played inside of a van. That would be a... It's kind of like the, the very ending of how uh, the game Wet went down. Starting on a cliff. Always, always solid. Oh! It's, it's that dude. Nice hat. Tell me the necklace. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. You right. never went fishing, really? All right. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Yeah, we know how this ends. Spoiler, no. not good. We really ought to bring Doesn't broom hats finish. back, don't y'all think? I feel like they kind of went out of style. It, it's, it's a way for like literally anybody to have their own mohawk, and that's just great. Also, big metal jowls, Spartans. so really two for two. Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand, right now! The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? I love that this is already the intersection of, like, the God of War series and the movie 300. It's a little binary, but whatever. It's, it was way on back. We give them a little bit of leeway. They're all going to die anyway, so it's alright. Are they just going to throw me into the Battle of Thermopylae? Because honestly, that'd be a pretty great way to start the game. I'm worried Leonidas may have been misinformed by the Persians by propaganda. <laughs> That's... Ooh. Well, I know a lot of... Now you're just showing off Leonidas. I know a lot of uh, Modern Times has been misinformed about the Spartans, by propaganda at least. The movie 300 not being the least of it. If this were a lesser game, we already would have had like four QTE prompts during that sequence, and I'm really glad that they went and just made it a movie. Okay. Uh, ooh. All right, bumper. Ooh, that dude dead. I see you sneaking up behind me. Let's get the guys with the numbers over them. You! What a dirt move. That was stylish. Oh dear. Oh dear. Do I have a block? That worked. Gotta, gotta stop voguing away from the fight. There we go. Back to him at the same time. Oh, L, B, and A. Ha, ha, ha. My fault. Here you go. Ooh, look at these numbers. This plays like a, a Dynasty Warriors game so far. Ooh, ha, ha. That was nice. Of course, we don't know how many hit points these guys have. It's clearly in the multiple thousands. Makes the numbers a little less impressive. Kind of a Final Fantasy problem. Ooh. 
right through the face places. You stabbed me in the back, and I don't appreciate that. Okay, we're going to do a war cry and make everything sepia tone, so that's pretty cool. Whoop, hi. Whee! I got never even saw me coming. Nope, get the big guy. The big guy. Nope. Apparently that ability. Oh, I see. Spartan kick. <laughs> Alright. Anybody else around here who has. Yeah, there's one. Whee! Boot. <laughs> That's just fun. Zack Snyder a GIF. <laughs> nice. Oh, gosh. You, that's a terrible waste of a sword. And there we go. Ooh, nice axe. Listen, I'm a man who likes a good axe. I'll bring Zaxi's your head. Uh, R to lock on. Got it. X to dodge. It's going to throw me for a bit. Zaxi's your head, you insolent Spartan fool. Okay. Alright, so bumper attacks. Right trigger breaks guard. X dodges. If I can do it in time. Whew. So this is going to throw me off because I just got done playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, where the buttons are not that at all. So we're going to have some awkward moments here for a bit, I think. My son is more of a warrior than you. Once I'm done with you, King, Listen, I'm very proud of your son. Ooh. And again, in the he just disappeared into space. Whew. All right. Right trigger, guard break, right bumper, attack, left bumper for abilities. Complete the battle of 300. It wasn't really... It, it's not important. It's not important. Also, hi, Christy. Hi, B. I was very rude and didn't say hi earlier. It's a game about overcoming bigotry against Persians, so you can accept your desire to live with your true love, who is a Persian general. Listen, I already ship it, and we haven't even met the uh, the Persian general. There probably is one. I do like, like, Grey Grandpa Leonidas, though, versus the... the nothing at all against Gerard. I think he's, he's very fetching. Um, but there's a certain, like, The Witcher 3 vibe about this, and I kind of love it. Those of the path behind the mountain. They're coming. <laughs> By dawn, it will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing when Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of the Oh, oh gosh. Wow. Day that was oh was a day the Persians will never forget. <laughs> that guy has the most beard. I think he's gonna be the antagonist. Oh never mind! Tomorrow <laughs> is a day the world will remember. Yeah, that was uh sorry about that. That was um rather rather brusque and gory. Finally. I love your scarf. Wow. Oh, we're in the modern this era. Is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be just out of Victoria. So, what are we thinking, y'all? Wives. Boss, boss. Wives? I'll prep it for you. Is that a portable animus machine? Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. 
There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. <laughs> I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization. I'm already more invested in this modern day protagonist than in Listen, we're going to we're going to take it easy here because I'm more interested in chatting with y'all than I am in in Let's difficulty settings. One step at a time. Uh, but I like this one more than what was his name? Devin Declan This bit will let me know how much Dushkinu, whatever that guy. Guided mode versus Let's see what these mean. Guided mode. Traditional experience. Markers are displayed at all times. Objectives are given. Okay, so normal. A newer approach to play style. Whoa. The user must investigate the world to uncover targets and quest objectives. This is the way it's meant to be experienced. Listen, I love you guys, but no. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, okay. Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly Usually when people find a historically source. significant the spear, it's the spear of Longinus. Of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, cool. what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. <laughs> something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not going to let Abstergo find out first. Nice, okay, so they're not actually with Abstergo Core. Oh, so it's a rogue module. What is it? Whose surface is it running off? Listen, these are not questions that are important right now. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going to have to these are our two player character choices. The choice is yours. Like it's really a choice. And listen, I want to I wanna be clear here. I think Alexio, Alexios is, like, objectively... Fine, there's nothing wrong with this character at all. But let's be honest. We knew who we were picking, like, months ago. They're making me hold it to, to uh, make sure that I'm sure. And I'm super ultra devil mega sure. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. I was about to say. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Only Hooray! Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. I, I hey, Bedroad. Alexios absolutely looks like a football player. Yeah, and actually, like, specifically looks like a football player. Um, and, like, again, I, as much as, like, so I've seen the, the full look on him and, and watched a couple of the uh, interactions of the Alexios playthrough. Voice actor is fantastic. It, it's a wonderful character. It's not the clear choice that, like, Shep, uh, the, the two Shepherds were in Mass Effect, where early on the other voice actor was not super great versus Jennifer Hale, who was, of course, majestic. Um, this one, they really are on even footing, and I probably... I was about to say, I probably will do an Alexios playthroughs. I probably won't. Um, at least not on stream. But, like, they're both great. And and as a wonderful bi person, I'm a huge fan of both. But we need so, 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 so many more non male Assassin's Creed protagonists. Uh, so I'm going to take every possible opportunity just to up that ratio. And yeah, Layla and Victoria absolutely sound like wives. They're adorable, and I love them. And if we get missions where, like, Abstergo tries to crash their little, like, rogue operation, uh, there, there's no, there's nothing bad is happening to them. I've already decided. <laughs> Off to an excellent start. Cyclops got a message for you. You leapt that? Tell your boss. Jesus. That's for last week. Malaka. So I appreciate that this game literally doesn't pull any punches. So act tough. So act tough. Get a little right, closer. Good to know. And I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me... Ooh, nice counter! Hey. 
last week. This shit happens every week. Wish Cassandra had more facial features instead of just having a perfectly smooth beauty model face. Can't keep doing yeah, it. I'm a, I, I, yeah, no, I get that. Because, like, compared to, um, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, who is a gorgeous character model, but one that has specifically shapes that go outside of the norm. She has a much wider jaw, she's got the band of freckles. It's just a little bit to add character, so that if you see a pic of Aloy, you're never going to mistake her for another female protagonist. Apparently not. I could easily see art of Cassandra if it were stylized or modernized and think it was Laura Croft art. Which is a little unfortunate. The hawk's name is Icarus? Phoebe, you're adorable. You know what? I will do exactly that. Oh, that eye roll. Try to put in a good word for you. Finally. Never so, name a bird what Icarus. Doing? What are you doing? That's oh, that's got to be bad luck, right? Marcos is looking for you. Mm. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house on his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He <laughs> says wine will make him rich. <laughs> How long has this been going on? I have a rich friend, and I'm getting punched in the face first thing in the morning. I think. So, Marcos <laughs> is buying vineyards with, with what money? my money. <laughs> I don't know. This just turned into uh, Grand Theft Auto, Ancient Greece. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a nice crisp high five. Okay, fine. And <laughs> she has a little toy bird. My hey, boys, up for another round? A fish named Icarus. Choices. The choices you make will have impact, seen and unseen. <laughs> Y'all act like I've never played a Bioware game before. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. Okay, listen, I love her already. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. All right. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Of course, we put all of our stuff way up on the top of the thing. Whee! Ah, oh, parkour! It feels so good. So, oh, nope, too far. We went too high. Hang on. Back it up. Interact. Interact. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. Oh, no. Okay, I'm really glad we gave her a coin. Nope. Up. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, I mentioned before, I've been playing... Uh, so, there was... Uh, uh, Bad Road knows this, at least. Uh, there was a, an audio issue when I tried to stream Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but I've been playing it on my own, and... Um, the the ten second spoiler free review is don't, uh, but immediately going from that to the crisp smoothness of Assassin's Creed parkour, which absolutely will have its bugs and bits, but just the speed of it is so I just I love it I missed it I missed it a lot. Let's get this on. It's still my favorite thing about the series. All right, so we'll probably just have one of those. Although it's good to know. Engraving list. All right. Remember that? Oh, nope, that's... Got it. Inventory's on the right. I have a quiver, but no bow. That's always unfortunate. And that other guy had a bow. I could have taken his. Oh, I have a... What's that? A broken bow. All right. That's going to be a quest. Let's get some actual for real clothes on. That's... That's light clothes. It's clothes adjacent. I mean, it's grease, so... Provides a little bit of adding, I guess. Right. Head, arms, torso, I guess, waist, and boots. Cool. And then whatever the heck this is. And then we'll have... How does he... Oh, it's trees! Oh, I've missed you, trees. 
I've played a lot of games recently that have tried to do a, what's the word I'm thinking of, uh, a Final Fantasy X kind of approach to leveling, where it sort of spirals out from a central nugget. And I love those in theory, but the power leveler in me gets super duper lost on those, and I miss trees. I miss Diablo-style trees. So this is a nice return to form. <laughs> All right, let's go see Makala about the vineyard and the money he owes me. Up, uh, way up there. All right. Let's see, do we have a run button? Let's climb. Actually, wait. Is it also run? Nope. That's nice. Dodge. Action roll. Tactical roll. There we go. All right. Give me just a moment to catch up on chat while we run. Come on, keep running. Run on the road, please. There we go. Da 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 da. -da. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I still love the idea of a fish named Icarus, as long as it's not a flying fish. What's up, buddy? All right, you know what? That's what I get for sparing you. No manners. Honestly. Uh, listen, officer, I was well within my rights. Oh, you schmuck. I saw that and I couldn't see who was about to shoot it. Edit it. That's a glowing green arrow. Are you magic? Listen, your bow is mine, though. Oh, oh God, we went full Bethesda on you. Uh... I can carry the... That's good to know. So I can carry the corpse. Uh, up. Do we drop? Nope, that's crouch. Do we... <laughs> X will drop, but also, like, try to dodge roll out from under them. So you just drop them straight down. That's pretty great. I gotta, I gotta do that again. Just, uh, whoop. <laughs> ah! Hasta lasagna. Don't get any on ya. Right, I'm pretty sure that those dudes are actual, like, guards, maybe? Who knows? Uh, all right, now that I'm not getting attacked, let's catch up on chat for a moment. Yeah, the idea that, that um, and Alexios, this is not as true for, the fact that Cassandra looks like she's done all of her makeup, even though she clearly just woke up, jumped off a tower, and got punched in the face. Yeah, no, I'm 100% with you on that. <laughs> Girl parkour! Girl parkour! Parkour. No, I got nothing for that one, honestly. Yeah, the UI is very crisp. Um, it it already is reminding me a lot of the the. I've only played a couple of Assassin's Creed titles, um, and the the Chronicle series doesn't really count because it was such a huge departure in terms of interface. Ooh, I can call the hawk. Uh, I'm, I'm pressing. I press. I wish to press. No. No. Nope. Oh, that's weapons. That's nice. Oh, there we go. Ha! Ah. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty great. I believe I can fly. Alright, so... This is the place I'm actually going because it has the, the exclamation point. Uh, ooh, boost. Vroom. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. That's a different exclamation point. Ooh, hello there. Looks like this is the, the zooming in on my target. There you are. Yeah, there we go. See what right. you've got in your oh, I can, this time, I can sniper scope it. That's cool. Uh, let's zoom back around for a moment. We're going to go ahead. Looks like I have set a marker, so I think we're okay there. Yep, there we go. Aha, if I do that... Oh, that's pretty baller. So I've only played a couple of the Assassin's Creed games, um, and... The Hawkeye thing is new, um, but otherwise uh, very, very familiar. It's it's a very smooth interface, and it doesn't always work, but even when it falls on its face, it recovers so quickly that you don't really have to worry too much about it, at least so far in my experience. I'm glad we're with the adorable lesbian couple instead of Desmond. Desmond, that was his name. I, I got through like three other DE names, uh, and they were all wrong. Desmond, I didn't even find that one. Really hoping we'd be done with the whole Animus Unleashed. Animus Unleashed! <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I'm curious to see exactly how the bootstrapping of the Animus Abstergo thing is going to go this game. If it's going to be just a transparent excuse for um, like story overlap, or, or what the deal is going to be there. So we'll find out. Sneak, 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 sneak. Good to go. Shade on Path of Exile? Uh, not for me. Uh, I actually played about like four or five hours of it, and I, I, what was it Path of Exile? I'm getting them. No, I was, I was thinking Pillars of Eternity. I played about an hour of Path of Exile, um, and it was exactly what I expected, and uh, uh, did a pretty good job with it. It's a little rough on my poor little, not very gaming laptop. You, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Oh, I love this. Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe you found you, you in time. About grapes? I can still hear you. I was worried sick. <laughs> the Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish uh -huh. you told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody <laughs> buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? That's two very good reasons. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> Step three, profit. Is that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. Oh, God. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. <laughs> <Then> get <laughs> okay. I kind of love Marcos, instantly. though. Instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. That may change if this is, is a running gag for most of the game. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Doris. You know Doris. He's very nice. Doris. We all love Doris. <laughs> Doris? Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend. But you're bad with money. <laughs> Where can I find the race? In a shop in Sam. I could try to con continue to convince you know Marcus that he should get me the stuff, but that just seems like a dead end, you know? Me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. <sighs> He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course. <laughs> oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine. Uh -huh. but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, <laughs> my friend. You shall have your pick. Ah. <sighs> yeah, it really is. It's it's Grand Theft Auto Greece. <laughs> well, hopefully, maybe more Saints Row. <laughs> uh they're all. They're a little stretched thin, but I, I kind of like them. Who's this one? The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is... Ooh, Thessalonia. Thessalonia. Sold. Bread for its curates. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? Do -do -do. Thessalonian. Ah, uh, 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 fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. No. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because I'm Marcus. sure. Marcos. Everybody benefits. Especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, nice. meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Duris is totally going to attack me with a band of thugs, isn't he? Dubai. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. But oh, who? holy crap. Of the New Cyclops. mission. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. Thank In you, Cass. The beach? Can she swim? 
I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Marcus, get wrecked. They're more important things right now. Yeah, and honestly, speaking of Marcus, I'm I'm imp trying not to harp on this too much. Uh, but the the thing is like look at Marcus's face and the the sheer amount of like leather detailing and lack of shine it has compared to Cassandra's, which is like full contour, all glow and concealer and it's like, wait, what? All right, so let me find out which is which. Cuz I've got two objective markers here. Anybody? There's the debt collector. Uh, can I move the map? I want to move the map. How do I move the map? Oh, I'm on the quest mark. I need the map. Ha ha, map. Uh, let's see who's here. Can we swim? An excellent question. Where's my. There, okay, it's on the stick. Got it. Everything's fine. Go back to work. Now, this looks like the beach. And, oh, yeah, that's the one I want. Alright, set marker. Set marker. Yes, B. That ex exactly. We're all, we're of one mind. That's that was just. I was noticing that the whole time we were talking to Marcus, I'm sitting there going, "That that's you guys put a a crap load of detail into to giving this dude character, and she kind of looks dime a dozen. Even Alexios doesn't look super original, to be honest, uh, because I guess yeah, you know, we just want to. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not going to harp on that too much, but I'll let's just say I'm with you. And it's not, it's by no means unique to this game. The fact that this game has more diverse characters outside of the main character is at least a, a step up in a lot of ways. But uh, but still, like, I mean, even just look at these two. No one's going to buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Well, time to kill everybody. Let's see, am I already stealthed? Oh, it's about to tell me. Enemies will investigate if they spot you in a restricted area. Which I'm guessing is the big red bar at the top. We crouch. Tall grass will keep me hidden. Can I assassinate somebody? Yes. Ooh, nice. Hatch up! Good, those are the same buttons as... Uh, <laughs> those are the, the same buttons as the game I was just playing. Let me go ahead and we'll get you in the cornfield, huh? And it is. I really wish I could... i got to figure out a way to, to drop people without, like, wheeling back away from them. Yeah, we'll investigate. Yes. <laughs> With dynamite. Uh, ooh, I can whistle somebody over still. Nice. I love that ability. Huh? I heard something. Oh, jeez. And then just... Just pulling it out the other side. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to get my drachma one way or another. All right, that dude totally... Ooh. Oh, I can do this anytime. Oh, that's baller. All right, so we got you over there. Looks like, looks like that's it. All right. We can take out two yahoos. Let's see, which one was whistle? Whistle is down. Got it. Come on, everybody, come find out what the whistling's all about. Maybe it's a rare, delicious bird. Probably not, though. All right, let's see how we're going to get to this guy. Let's break line of sight for a moment. Oh, gosh. Oh, right in the tailbone. Oh. Cassandra, was that really necessary? You know, no, no, it's Phoebe. It was necessary. Welcome back. We rescued Phoebe. And I went on a small rant agreeing with you earlier and saying you never need to stop complaining about that because it's still a problem. Be careful. You're alone now since since my parents died. I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me, Marcos. We're your family, right? Oh, flashback time. Oh, no, internet. Boo, internet. Hopefully the stream is doing okay. Looks like it's alright. Please let me know if not. 
Also, if the audio is acting weirdly, please let me know. <laughs> you have to be stronger than that. Oh, is this baby Cassandra? Ooh, ow. Ooh, dang. Again, up. Yes, Pater. A Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop. Kick his butt, baby girl. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. So I understand that this is basically how the entire new God of War game goes down. That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> What Very food. Tonight? tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that they kept baby. the brother sister thing that they did from Syndicate. Me instead, I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. Y you just told me to lay him in his bed. Make up your mind. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. So, what I'm getting from all of this is that Cassandra and Phoebe are a couple of orphans who found each other and now live on top of a shack. Uh, so, really, they need only good things to happen forever. Anything less than that, I think, is, is just unjust. Petition for dudes nowadays to also wear nothing except for a split-sided kilt. Here and here. Did I mention I just went to a Ren Faire this weekend? Because here, here. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. Fair point, Christy. Fair point. Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, Talos the Stonefist? Am I ever not in trouble? Better <laughs> get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! <laughs> Talos the Stonefist. That's just what I need today. It's a bounty hunter tracking you. Off. Okay. I'm going to have to take care of that. Oh. You are hunted. It is. It's literally it's literally GTA in ancient Greece. Listen, we're just gonna have to get used to this. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> bounty hunters like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. You should be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. Oop. Mercenaries. Interesting. Talos is higher level. You should avoid him until you can level up and become strong enough to fight him. Okay, fair enough. Don't get dead. Alright, so that's you. And that's me. So, the fact that they're called mercenaries, or this is a whole, like, mercenary menu, I'm assuming that this is kind of a Vegeta situation, where if I beat this dude, who is apparently, like, seven feet tall, uh, then I might be able to recruit him and start my, uh, my little crew when I also have a boat. Which will probably happen soon, I hope. I have a horse! Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Questing time. Alright, so we need to go find that. Which is way over there. Do I know what my horse button is? Do I have a horse button? No, I have a bird button. Would love to have a horse button. Uh, is there a this, maybe? No, that's the same thing there. How about that? Nope, those practically go to the same place. Oh well, worth a shot. We'll look that up later. And away we go. The other nice thing that I really have always appreciated about Assassin's Creed games, especially the further they get in the series, is just making literally everything climbable, which uh, 
was it was a really good decision whenever they decided that. Hold to call Phobos. Got it. That's my opponent button. Hey, hey! Let's go. Hold A to let him take control and <gasps> there's an auto pathing? Oh that's baller. Where was that my entire Dragon Age Inquisition life? Hold A to Follow road not available. Fair enough. That's right, we're pretty close. Ooh, nice boat. Can I jump? Nope. Do to do. And up we go. Sami. Riz will be at his shop. Excellent. Let's try not Let's to go. knock over everything. Do -do. Good, to see you. Good to see you, random citizen. Are they really listed as civilian? Like, honestly? Luris! What's up? Do you have my money? Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself if he wants his money. <laughs> no, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Yeah, Marcos is kind of a jerk. That's robbery. That's what I told Marcos. You know him, he's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. I love that she just called him a drama king. Marcos, I've paid enough already. I won't bow to, to, to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? <laughs> That's how he bought his vineyard? Oh no, this is all coming full circle. Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Alright, so I said double is too much. I'm assuming that this means he'll just give me what he owes and not double. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachma you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. Then you can come collect. Alright. Breaking Duras' wares may encourage him to pay his debt. Killing Duras is always an option. Well, we've jumped straight on into uh, Skyrim. Whoop, nope, that's just climbing on stuff. All right, all right. I'll pay you, just stop. I appreciate that there's at least a non-kill-the-dude option. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't. <laughs> Smash the state. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tend to, uh, I, whoa. Dude, you just backed over me. What are you even talking about? Uh, yeah, when I get objective markers in games, I tend to just beeline straight to them, which, let me tell you, has usually gone terribly for me. Let's see if we can find an actual, like, road road. It's not the one I want to map. There we go. Oh, that's handy. And then there we are. So we're here. That's the dude we want to avoid, because we're nowhere near a high enough level. That's where we're going. Uh, looks like there's a road through here, and then down here. Alright. Uh, can I, like, set marker? Is it set? Is it secret? There we go. And then hold A. Hey, look at that! Oh gosh, that is so nice. It's also really streamer friendly, because now I can just send the horse to go somewhere and apparently run over people in town, and then catch up on chat. <laughs> Did not realize ancient pots were that fragile. They might be. Um, it's also very possible that the the spear that I've got is just that good, or that Cassandra is just that buff. Most of them survive, but they survive like weathering. Pottery tends to not survive like brute force, especially from a sharp object, well at all. If it stays in one place and just slowly gets buried over, then it's fine. Ah! I, I appreciate that the follow the road option also involves just like straight running people over in the street. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad at least that unlike in, uh, was it Red Dead Redemption, uh, 
that doesn't immediately cause me to like kill them and lose honor points for it. Not that I think Cassandra has to worry about honor points terribly much. So far, this character seriously reminds me a lot of one of my all-time favorite uh, video game protagonists, which was Hawk from Dragon Age 2. Um, in that, I feel like what? by a few hours in, she's here? just going to want to either kill everyone or take a nap, or first one and then the other. Because she's just, just trying to go about her life without this much drama. And it just keeps finding her. That's my, uh, goat, no, why? You ran into traffic, what are you doing? If they can't get out of the way, they don't deserve to have their ancestors' memories stuffed into a hell machine. <laughs> fair, fair point. Also, I feel like we took the super duper long way around, which is the other reason why I take a beeline directly to my objectives. Although, this is super scenic, so, uh, I, I'm not, like, I'm not, I ain't mad. Uh, we get to see the whole tour of the vineyard this way, but we, we really did go like circling around a few times en route to getting back to Marcus. Wonder if it's possible to mod a more interesting face. Probably. Uh, I'm on Xbox One, so not here. Um, but I'm sure the game's on PC. All the Assassin's Creed games have been. Um, so somebody probably has it. Or will have it. But yeah, like again, speaking of, of other games, which I realize I keep doing. Are we going in circles? Let me just let me just verify right quick no we are getting closer okay um bonk. just knocking somebody completely over where did that marker go oh hang on yeah we are going in circles what the heck anyhow uh i was just playing dragon age inquisition also recently i tend to go through a lot of games um uh, playing dragon age, dragon age inquisition recently and one of the better sliders for character creation in that game in my opinion is the one for complexion. And there's like seven options per face, and there are like six or seven different faces. You get a huge range of ages, of, of skin tones, of conditions, of everything. And I just wish we would use that more. Everyone keeps calling me mercenary. Mercenaries get paid. I haven't been paid yet. Yeah, this game is gorgeous. And I know that that's one thing the Assassin's Creed game has done like super well since... Practically since the beginning. Um, but yeah, it's such a pretty game. You know, we're going to get the money. I'm still broke and I have an, an orphan little sister to feed. I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Hmm. <laughs> Flashback time! I do have a dozen IOUs, you're not wrong. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of horrifying. What the hell happened here? Oh, we're getting a baby Aloy sequence. Is this a story of how we met our bird? That's like just the head of the spear, and it's almost as big as she is. What a conveniently sized boat! And then she became a pirate. So, like, y'all saw that, right? She woke up in a giant pile of bones and skulls. That wasn't just me. Calling for her brother. I'm gonna guess something bad happened. Listen, the fact that at, like, the ripe old age of, what, six, eight, she survived all that is freaking amazing. I can see why Marco screwed the beard. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh. Ha. You hungry? 
Okay, you know what? I'll give him that. That was pretty cute. And now Marcus is back. That was very brief lived. Listen, some days you wake up in a pile of bones and skulls. You're right. Everybody has their Thursdays. Think about it. Wait. So at least Marcos isn't a total prick. Cephalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look Listen, I had a spear and a boat. And a well, probably less boat. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't All right, so the Cyclops is not the bounty hunter after. Right? He's the loan shark. How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There New quest. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me. Okay, you, I like you. Priscilla, I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. Oh God, Marcus. <laughs> He's just a walking Ponzi scheme. <laughs> You know what? We're going to do the strong silent type. She's the silent but deadly type. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our side class <laughs> dilemma. See me when you have time. Ah, oh, Jesus. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. Okay. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everyone Fair point. benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd Fair point. You make a fortune in this war. Plus... I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. All right, so now we get a bow. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it Ooh, a it's a nice recurve. Gorgeous. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. Let's see how good my aiming settings are. Whoop. Ah, oh, not bad. Charge shot or quick shot. Nice. Boom. Dunk. Dunk. Cool. Oop, oh, sorry. Try not to bump it. Ooh, holy cow. Wait, wait, what? Hang on. What? What's going on? What? Why did you come at me? What? I would. Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Listen, I'm trying to avoid all the got wood jokes I can, but they're they're right there. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Wow. Finally. Cassandra went for it. I appreciate that. Sure is lucky he's got you as his scapegoat. I like their bracer too. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker. I'm a voyeur. He's the Salmoneus character. In the nice. Somewhere that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. Okay. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. <laughs> I like the idea of Cassandra long, just instantly been being been a lot more diplomatic that. with right. femme folks than, well, you. folks like Marcus. Get my wood. Head to Alright, there's a new quest. Those are question marks. Alright. To the map. To the actually we can do to the quest. Uh, eye for an eye, which one's this one? I'm not gonna talk to Marcus again, because we've talked to him way too much already. Alright. Do -do -do. I I really think I'd like bumped into this person and they attacked me. I I kind of need a Dishonored 2 level of, like, 
knocking somebody out of power. Maybe that's a level up option. Speaking of leveling up, we gained a level and turned all like gold for a minute there. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, hello. Alright, so our trees are Hunter, Warrior, and Assassin. Uh, requires level 23. Oh, wait. It goes bottom to top. Whew. It was like, what? Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sixth sense. Time slows for up to five seconds when you're spotted by enemies. That's quite nice. Aimed arrows lock onto target torso and deal 150% damage. Shoot three arrows at the same. The Robin Hood option. Zoom to shoot an arrow that deals 380% damage and travels 25% farther. Hold right trigger to gain control of the arrow? <laughs> what? I... Huh. That... Huh. All right. Predator shot. I'll we'll have to remember that one. That's a... That's a ridiculous ability. All right. Bull rush. We can charge... Sparta kick. I mean, you know, legendary kicks that knocks the target back and deals 160% damage. Target won't be killed and can be recruited afterward. Well, I said I wanted a non-lethal option. I can't believe it's the freaking Sparta kick. Hang on, hang on. That second sentence, the target won't be killed. Look at this, look at this gif. That dude is dead. That dude is super duper mega ultra dead. But I guess technically the kick didn't do it. Hang on, I missed one. Charge heavy attack. Charge up and woo! That's a that's a heck of a short you can. All right, assassin. Assassination knockout damage increased by twenty percent. Automatically loot the enemy after an assassination. That's handy. Melee weapons and standard arrows inflict poison damage. Woo! When their poison meter is full, enemies become intoxicated. The damage over time weakens the enemy and Weakens the damage and armor of the enemy. Nice. Summon Athena. Summon Athena's sight to reveal all secrets, including chest and hidden path. That's going to be handy in the long term. But first, let's go ahead and let's do Sparta Kick so that we can, like, it, we could get out of bad situations without having to stab people. And that's, let's see. I'm going to go with A. I'm going to put that in the A slot. Although that's mappable. Ooh, I, quick save. Quick save. Just spotted that. Alrighty. So let's set ourselves a marker. Get underway. Maps here. Woohoo. This is you, right? Lumbering along. Yes, that's the one. It's kind of close to the dude I'm supposed to avoid, but hopefully not too close. Uh, and now, we will follow and I'll catch up in chat. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da. Is it leaving kids in a pile of skulls like a Spartan thing, or is that one of those things misattributed? Ancient Celtic tradition that has been misattributed. Thank you, B. I'm actually really curious how many Hercules Xena influences went into this. That's an excellent question. I'm kind of curious myself. Hopefully we get at least one moment where we get to, like, do eight flips off of the, the side of a cliff and, uh, and land on a ship to rescue our girlfriend. Because that's really the only Xena reference I need. That's telekinesis, Kyle. <laughs> Predator shot definitely isn't going to be misused in speedruns. <laughs> God, I can see that so well, too. Also, what is this route? Like, it was right there, and we're, we're now twice as far away as we were. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, we're literally riding away from it. All right, hang on. We're going we're gonna to do this again. Gonna roll on back. So that may not be quite the uh, auto pathing I was hoping for. So why to go to map marker? There we go. Oh, that's okay. I missed a step. That's on me. Whoops. Sorry. Literally everyone. Man, I feel better about my like horse riding ability now that I'm watching the computer AI do it. Kick someone off a cliff. He won't be killed. That was exactly my thought. She judo flipped that guy and then stabbed him in the butt. Yeah, it kind of looked like it. Yeah, the Sparta kick also looks hilarious. And given that I'm like heir of Leonidas, it's like, you know, it's it's thematically appropriate. Whoa. Oh, no. Uh, 
Uh, I was pretty sure it was gearing up to attack me, and I, I might, I might have overdone it. A group left so area. Sorry, pupper. Headed west. Sorry, sorry, pupper. I forgot to use my new Sparta kick. I do think I got like a thing. Investigate the area. How does one investigate? Does it literally just look around? It might just literally be a look around. Oh, hang on. So this, ah, aha! So it's literally just look around for interactables. Got it. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. I'm told that the previous couple games did a good job keeping anachronism out, but I've stopped being interested in giving Ubisoft money for a while, so I'm not 100% sure. You know what? That's fair. The pile of bones thing was a joke. That's good to know. I, uh... I... I would believe it. Where are we at? Alright, so when they say investigate the area, it's a really tight little area. I hope no one will take that and go somewhere terrible with it. I keep trying to do the, like, the little search thing from uh, Inquisition, where you can zero in on a thing. Alright, so there was a blood trail here. How far does the area extend this way? Too far. Right, so somewhere around this circle. It's not really going to show me where the things are. There is some lumber up here. Maybe that's it. Eh? Nope. Maybe. Nope. Fell over myself. Too far. There's probably a mechanic to this, but I'm not... Hang on. I forgot. I have a hawk. This might be it. That's me, I think? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Can you tell me anything here, Icarus? Because I am not seeing a darn thing. This is definitely the lumber yard. Hmm. Nope, nope. Investigate the stick. Nope. That was the blood we investigated earlier. Investigated the cart. Let's keep moving in this direction. Can I just, like, talk to a person? No. Shame, really. Investigate the wood. Nope. Uh, investigate the goat. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen anything? Anything unusual? You, madam. No? Nothing? All right. That's it. I'm I'm all out of investigations. Uh. Nope. Nope. Can't have gone more than 250 meters from the ambush. A large group towards the west, towards the lumber yard. Anytime I move away from this area, it says to stay here. But I'm actually going to go ahead and ignore that for a moment. Where is north on my compass line here? There it is. Oh, that's really hard to see. Let's move into the trees. Alright, so if that's north... And there's... Alright, so they headed this way. Oop, oh, hey. Maybe if I just find the thing I'm looking for. Hello, wolf. Aw. I want to be friends. Alright, that one definitely attacked me first. Soft leather, aww. Oh, it's kind of sad. Alright, so it sounds like they went this way. But I'm not seeing any sign of banditry and the like. And my marker still has me up here, so. I'm trying to figure out what that, like, the, the combat thing is on my map here. Let's go to the map. Yeah, what is this? Okay, so that is the lumber yard. That's also the dude I'm supposed to avoid. So I don't really want to go here since it's past this dude. Uh, am I missing something? Is there another way to investigate? Let's see if the quest text tells me anything. Uh, nope. Yeah, I think I just need to stagger around here until I see a magnifying glass. Was that it? Nope. Nope. 
That's a little awkward. Oh, hey, I can take photo mode. Smile. You look marvelous, darling. Oh, almost fell off. Can I get in the cart? Nothing in the cart. In the bushes. Nothing in the bushes. Over here? Nothing over here. Campfire. Nope. Yeah, the first two... Oh, wait, hang on. Aha. A dead dude. Okay, found the thing. The wow, that's going to be a little bit of an awkward interface in the future. That, uh, I'm going to have to see if there's a, like a color option to switch that magnifying glass to something that's not white on top of like sandy backdrop colors in this high sun. All right. Icaros. Over here. Okay, getting the hand of the targeting reticle a little bit. Somewhere over here. This does look very lumber campy. Nope. Ooh, ooh, nope. Almost. Got it. Nope, maybe. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. Here I was looking for like a specific person and it's like, nope, just the middle of the road. Alright. Assassinate the wolf. I did I did assassinate the wolf. In Breath of the Wild, horses just follow roads. May have pointed in the wrong direction when we started. It's very possible, although I did notice that after I hit follow road, there's a second button to hit go to marker. So it's possible that there's a that the the uh, hold A to ride around thing is literally just your horse follows the road until you tell it to stop. Um, and if you want to actually ride to the marker, you have to then press Y after you've started the, the follow mode. So, it's a two-step process. We're learning as we go. Acquired. Wolf flank. <laughs> then I can loot another bear. <laughs> Why was there a rotting bear carcass on this bear? Did it eat another bear, like, to gain the strength of two bears? That's going way on back. Was that... That was Mac Hall comic. Ah, oh, what a great one. <laughs> Ooh, a corpse! What a hell of a thing to miss! Yeah, no, and I walked right past it, like, three times, but it, it's... The, like... Slightly stained colored tunic blended in perfectly with the sandy earth. Uh, and so it's like, oh, that's, huh, it's pretty easy to miss a body. Turns out when you don't have a nose to function from. <laughs> yep. Lumber shipyard. Sneak up on them. Sneaky. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get a bird's eye view nyak, 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 of all this. Uh, let's see who we can identify here. There's one. We're gonna Metal Gear Solid this. I'm sure some of the other Assassin's Creed games have had this mechanic. Uh, I know Watch Dogs had it, which was not an Assassin's Creed game, but kind of was at the same time. All right, so we got three Yahoos, all of oh, four Yahoos, five. So that one has a crown on him. I bet you get a name. I wonder if you can be recruited. Korax. Your name is Korax. Do you have a name? They all have names? That would be cool. Potamon? Potamon. Gotta catch them all. Laos? Actually, that's Laos, I think. I hear somebody shouting, but I don't think they're shouting at me. Evios? My favorite Pokemon? Eh? Is that two dudes? That's two. Wow, there's a bunch of you. Just an acre, you fellas. Alright. Back to me. It's a goat just hanging out, as goats are wont to do. Alright, I kind of want to go for the dude with the crown first. Take out the leader and then work my way down. Nope, everything's fine. You saw nothing. Did I see something? Let's see. What are the chances I can just... Knock a dude out in one hit, do you figure? Probably not great, right? Yeah, okay, that tells me actually, like, how much of his health goes away. Which is pretty cool. So, like, that dude's dead. Come on, come on, hold still. <laughs> what are you even doing? Oh, he's going to cover. That's actually, that's smart. Now let me also move. 
So that's cool. So if I do the charge shot, it tells me how much damage I'll actually do to the person before I pull the trigger. Which is good. Handy tool for an assassin to have. Do 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 do. I actually really appreciate that he doesn't like just come looking for me by himself. He goes running for cover. He actually plays it like a smart guard. <laughs> While he goes over there, I'll be over here. When he comes back, we will assassinate him. See, can I hit him through there? I can. It's a heck of a shot <laughs> as he's going up the hill. Because then I'm going to get shot in the butt again. Oh, I did hit him. thought that was behind him. I should have let him come back over, but I was getting impatient. Are they watching? Nope. Hey, there we go. Bandit leader down. Boot. <laughs> God, that was fun. Missed me! Nope. Fair enough. Scamper, scamper. Keep scampering. Alright. Normal arrow. We do not need to... Let's see, so... All that. Looting again. Oh, shoot! I didn't even see you. I don't know how I didn't even see you. You're right there. Got target fixated on loot. Do I have a health bar, or is it just the, the usual, like, a little bit at a time sort of thing? Looks like it's that. Good. I can work with that. And now we sneak. So I creep. Yeah. Boot. Oh, the headshot from downtown. I think there actually is bullet drop. Yep. Eh, one more. Come on. <laughs> well, that was... That bandit went to space. <laughs> Let's get on over here and hang out. Yeah, they just, they just went downtown. I am. Is it, where, where are you going? <laughs> Better question, why are you coming back? At that point, you might as well just leave. <laughs> I'm just going to edit it, edit it. Aww. Can't actually tell how many arrows I've got, which is a little disconcerting. Uh, there we go. Is, is that the same dude just running around? Alright, I gotta go put this person out of their misery. This is just sad. This is just sad. You're Listen, you're embarrassing yourself. Come on, come back. Come back and get shot like your friends. It's Listen, it's fine. I'll make it quick. Oh, you juked. You juked me. Well done. Alright. They really did just go to the next zip code. What the heck? <laughs> they've, they've started a new life. They've started a little farm. They're just going to go play Stardew Valley by themselves until all of this blows over. Oh. <laughs> God, that was horrific. Oh, wow. Hey, Bex, welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Glad to have you back. Oh, that one poor bandit just chased down for days. Alright, so L. Uh, yep, alright. That and loot some treasure. 
But we have some bandits to clean up first. Speaking of which, let's get over here and hide for just a sec. So obviously we have you. Do we have anybody else? Are you the last of your kind? Oh, buddy. Listen, I, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Good news, you don't have to worry about setting, uh, splitting the loot anymore. What are the chances that I can knock you out in one shot? Up just a little bit. There we go. Some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it. <laughs> yep. Looting. Looting. So much to loot. Oh, that's undignified. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and let's let's put you somewhere a little bit better. Just a little better. There we go. Right. Find some lumber. I mean, there's all this lumber here, but I'm not lugging that all the way back, so... need to find carryable lumber that I can bring to our bowyer as proof. And loot! There's one. Where's the other one? Okay. Was that it? Did I loot both? Uh... I did! Horse time. Phobo is not available. Oh, because I'm in restricted territory, of course. Of course, of course. Nope. I'm going to try to avoid... I've already killed two doggos. I'm going to try to avoid taking out another one. Oh, oh, well, see... Oh, I didn't want to do this, but listen, I'm also not going to let you bite my butt. So, we're kind of at an impasse. And by impasse, I, I mean you're dead. I'm sorry. Poor puppers. Oh good, they won't attack the horse. Alrighty. So, uh, it's definitely a different Assassin's Creed game. Now, as I understand it, like, the, the mechanic that we just witnessed a lot of is, uh, was, was pioneered in Origins, which I did not play, and I kind of want to go back and get now, to be oh, honest with you. Because um, I, I kind of like that more than the than the, the more stealth gamey variety of some of the older AC games. Um, it, again, it, it feels a little bit more... It feels more Zelda-like. Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should Addis. arrive in town I like that. soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary. I knew you wouldn't, so I brought you wood. I didn't expect you to believe me, so... I brought this. Here's Living vicariously through Some people's Assassin's Creed streams, I know. Uh, I've it's been doing... Uh, what game have I been doing that with? Car Puppets. I've been doing that with Spider-Man. Which looks amazing, but I don't have time to play it. He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Done and done. <laughs> all we need is an ancient Greek dumpster to put all these bodies in. <laughs> he must go. His people need him. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Are Templars even a thing yet? So, interesting... Okay, interesting sidebar. Uh, again, haven't played Origins, but the name Origins kind of implies this, I guess, a little bit on its own. Um, from what I understand it... Okay, we're not doing that one yet. We are doing this one. Um, from what I understand, Origins is about Bayek and Aya who actually found the Order of Assassins. Um, this, I think, actually predates that? I could be wrong there. Um, but, like, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, there actually is no Assassins nor Creed. Uh, not the band. Uh, they're they're also not around. They might be. I, I don't know if they're actually like antediluvian or not, but probably not. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of Assassin's Creed name in name only. Uh, at the moment, we're really just kind of playing Mercenaries Creed. Uh, but I've decided not to question it too much because I I'm kind of loving it and also parkour. God, listen, let me tell you, when the games I've been playing and how much... Look at me just freaking scaling this. Um, the games I've been playing and what they have not let me climb, and certainly not at this speed and with this much ease, um, this is like 
a nice, uh, you know, warm bubble bath kind of a situation. Also, wow. Uh, so sorry about that. Let's uh, hit that button. There we go. No problem. Creative editing. Uh, that's got to be Zeus, right? Yep, that's a thunderbolt. Oh boy, that's 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 how very Zeus. Well, let's let's climb the Zeus. Oh boy. <laughs> and then we can probably call it a night on that front. Let's go up the ticklish foot. Uh, oh, you know, um, well. Listen, I don't see a better way up. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe we can go around the side. Maybe we can go around the side. Side is probably fine. We'll go up the armpit. It'll, it'll. It's not even a problem. It's, uh, don't even worry about it. And, uh, and can I go here? There we go. Ah. Uh -huh. She's doing this like in sandals. This is incredible. There we go. Right up the trapezius, and we're good. Synchronized spot. Is it on top of the head? It's got to be on the edge of the arm, right? It's got to be on the edge of the arm. Alright, so it's either... Oh, it's on the freaking lightning bolt. Of course it is. Of course it is. This is terrifying. Nice detail on the fingernail. Ancient sculptor, whoever you are. Da, 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 da. Uh, whew. listen, um, Cass, uh, not for nothing, but we're not gonna survive this. Just FYI, like we're gonna, but we're not gonna. Oh my gosh! Oh, the water. Oh, ho, ho. it's so pretty. It's so pretty, I could die. Lightning Zeus. Okay, so that's the synchronization. So I can actually just redo the, the pan around. That's actually really nice. <laughs> How far have I gotten? Uh, so we are a whopping like hour and 20 minutes in. Uh, very, very quick. Did I scare the old lady? Um, I don't think I scared Drusilla. Uh, there may be other old ladies that I haven't met yet. And if so, I'm eager to. Can we, can we romance the Dracula woman? I like her. Drusilla seems pretty great, to be honest. Uh, I have learned via Tumblr, which is a terrible place to learn things, um, that there is at least uh, one senior citizen in all of this that Cassandra can romance for a uh, apparently fairly miraculous three-day period uh, so that she's satisfied for at least a week or so. Uh so, you know, look forward to that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Can I just, like... Nope. I just want to not jump off, but, like, switch to climb down mode? No, guess not. All right. <laughs> climb the dick! I'm not climbing the dick. Climbing the butt was just, just the right degree of, of completely offensive. To be fair, it's Zeus, and I think he would enjoy too much if I climbed the dick, so we're not doing that. Ooh, ow, ow. i got to learn how to roll when I land. That's going to have to be a... A higher thing on the skill tree. Bird intensifies. <laughs> I still think naming a bird Icarus is a terrible, terrible move, but it's too late to change that now. Alright, I lost my marker again. There it is. One thing I'm going to have to see is if I can change the color of the, the markers and text. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Well done, Phobos. Was it Phobos and Demos? Yeah, Phobos and Demos. Alrighty, well, we're uh, a few minutes early of the 90 minute mark, which is our usual sign off time, um, but I don't think we're going to get much else done, and rather than talk to Marcus to end things on a terrible note, we're going to end things on the Drusilla note, and the climbing of Zeus's, uh, let's call it his lightning bolt, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and call it a night on that front, um, so far... I freaking love this game, and folks who have seen me stream other very different Assassin's Creed games know that I've, I've had kind of a hit or miss, um, and it's possible that might be coming, but, uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, this is pretty great, though, that's like the idol animation. Hi, Gross. you're the best, buddy. Also, Cassandra, how in the heck are you just falconeering with a bare hand? Your skin is like leather, good god. Anyway, <clears throat> as I was saying, loving this game so far. Really, really, really looking forward to where this goes. Um, 
Oh, and you could you could feed it little snacks. Okay, I'm gonna stop geeking out about the bird now. Until the next cute thing that it does. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I've been hearing really good things about it, and so far, uh, I don't actually think that those things have done it justice. Um, I love our absolute snark master mercenary, and I can't wait to see her and her uh, tiny urchin daughter take over the entire world. Um, so we'll continue that on when? When are we doing this one next? Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Uh, it's actually going to be next Monday. Because uh, we're missing our Saturday stream this week. Uh, so next Monday we'll be back with more Assassin's Creed Odyssey and uh, adorable Icarus uh, and Phoebe and Phobos and, of course, Cassandra and the spear of very, very, very much death next week. Thank you all so much for stopping in. It's a delight as always having you all here, and I'll hope to catch you around for the next one. <laughs>